you commute into a city centre every day, then the chances are that within the next 10 years, you're going to be doing it in an electric car. If you're not banned from taking a fossil fuel car into town, it'll become so prohibitively expensive that you won't want to do it. And Renault is getting ready for when that day comes. This is Twizy, and yes, the production car will be very similar. It seats two in a cosy tandem formation. The pedals have the stop and play symbols of a portable music player. You'll need to dress appropriately to make it for the lack of weather protection, but it will have airbags and seat belts. With only a 20 horsepower electric motor, the top speed is a mere 47 miles an hour, but it accelerates like a small motorbike and can cover 60 miles on a charge. And it's very stable, despite the narrow axles. It's hilarious. This is Zoe, the most futuristic of the three concepts. There will be a car like this, a four metre long super mini, powered by electricity, but it won't look like this one. It's just a little bit too fanciful. It's a show car to demonstrate how a super mini with a 95 horsepower electric motor might go. The maximum distance on a full charge is 100 miles. It showcases what might be possible with the design freedom electric cars offer. There's a butterfly roof, rear seat backrests that swing to the side, and an avatar to teach you how to drive. This car is called Fluence. It's based on an actual production car with petrol and diesel engines, and it'll be the first of the three Renault electric cars to come along, round about the middle of 2011. Israel gets it first, then Denmark and then Portugal. The UK? Well, they want it desperately and they're hoping they don't have to wait too long. Fluence is the nearest to being showroom ready. It's the smoothest and the most refined to drive. In fact, this show car is merely an exaggeration of the one you'll be able to buy. It will have the same power system as Zoe, but its solar roof panels and green touch-sensitive door openers are probably flights of fancy. So what's all this going to cost? About the same as a petrol or diesel car, says Renault. There'll be government grants of up to £5,000 to buy and a leasing arrangement for the batteries. Recharging with off-peak electricity will cost peanuts and there'll be quick charge options and three-minute battery swap stations so you're never stranded powerless. You better clear out the garage now. It's all less than three years away.